Hi Leo, this is your November 2020 reading with me. So we're going to have a look and see, this is like a general sort of reading where we look into the month and anything could come through, which is quite exciting. I'm going to be using a giant tarot card to pull an overview uh, card for your month, which is quite exciting. This is like the card of your, well, your month. And this is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. If you'd like to win a free reading with me, do check out the description box below since we do a giveaway every single month. If you would like to purchase a private paid reading information will be in the description box below as well they're done within 24 to 48 hours and the last thing I want to mention is my intention bracelets are on Etsy so do check those out if you're interested I'm wearing a bunch of the loved ones here there's also the evil eye protection um, confidence health and happiness bracelets and there's also uh, necklaces anklets tees crystals and a bunch of other stuff on my Etsy store definitely do check them out there's also face masks as well it's the other thing I wanted to mention um, international shipping and if you want to see the review section to see how other people have seen results for these items please do check that out as well okay um, so yeah everything is in the description box below yeah, so that includes the private paid readings as well. I've been getting lots and lots of DMs on Instagram, but it's literally all in the description box. And if you have difficulty finding it, then you can email me as well. Um, so let's have a look, Leo, and see. Oh, I feel like it's this one. It's this one. Okay, so we've got the Eight of Pentacles. Someone's working very, very hard this month. Uh, well, the month of November. Okay, so... Let's have a look and see what tarot is showing us. So Eight of uh, Pentacles shows a lot of focus, a lot of determination, a lot of dedication towards areas of work or education, because some of you may be studying. And for those of you that perhaps are unemployed, uh, or even for those of you that are in sort of relationships, you're really trying to work on things and you're trying to build things up and make them the best that you can. It's ultimately that you're, you're trying to put in a lot of consistency into this entire situation. So whether it's work, education, uh, relationships, or even if you're unemployed, I see you here really trying to do the best that you can to really find the right thing for yourself here um, in November. So there's a lot of dedication, a lot of hard work Leo. You. You're working very, very hard. This um, particular card as well um, is like sort of like that dusk to dawn kind of card where you're working like day to night or really putting in so much significant effort because you have this goal in your mind and for some of you that could be to find an appropriate job so you're like trying to apply 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 find opportunities from morning till night or you're trying to um, make something or build something because some of you may have your own businesses where you're like working again from morning to night trying to just like cover up on things uh, etc um, again in terms of relationships this just goes to show that perhaps morning to night you're thinking about this person and trying to put in as much consistency seeing communication as, as much as possible basically across the board you're working very very hard in November okay and I, I feel as well many of you are really grateful here in November it's almost like you know that you can make you know you have a good circumstance to be able to make things um, progress it's interesting actually because you've got Thanksgiving as well in um November, of course, not everyone celebrates it, but I actually looked at majority of my audience is actually from the US, so <laughs> that would also explain maybe why that message came through, but still, you know, you don't have to be in America to celebrate Thanksgiving, you can actually have, you know, Thanksgiving every single day, um, you know, with gratitude, but um, see, this Nine of Swords here shows you quite worried about something, and it's like you really just want to put in a lot of effort, you want to put in a lot of work, you just feel like it's the most important thing that you need to be doing, and even with this Knight of Pentacles as well, it's almost like you know you need to put in a lot of this effort, and you need to put in a lot of work, and this Knight of Pentacles shows you going towards your goals, and also achieving a little bit more in terms of finances, so I think that's quite interesting here. For some of you, you really want commitment, and that's really quite obvious here from these particular cards because some of you are focused quite heavily on like both aspects of your life in that sense like love and career and then for some of you you're focused more on love and some of you are focused more on like career aspects or educational aspects so that's why I'm like bouncing between all of these bits here but um yeah definitely like seeing here Leo that some of you really want commitment and that nine of swords shows you feeling frustrated that you haven't really got it uh, it shows you working really hard to try and make things happen and then the knight of pentacles shows that that's essentially what you're working hard towards so we've got here the emperor and we've also got here the ace of cups now what i would say is make sure you don't neglect yourself in the process of achieving what it is that you want to achieve because 
then you're placing majority of the focus on someone else and very little on yourself. So Emperor here is about, yes, take action towards this person, but don't forget yourself. So it's also about detaching a little bit as well um, in that sense as well, especially in regards to love. I just feel like you're working super, super hard here. And um, I do feel that it's important also to make sure that you take rest so that you can also emotionally charge up your energy as well so it doesn't lead to burnout because that's another thing that I am seeing here, um, especially with the Emperor. You know, you got to, when you have some fire energy like this, um, because you're of course the fire sign too, it's important that we are able to put some water into it as well to make sure that it's all pretty nicely balanced. So that's what I'm seeing here in November is just be aware of burnout because... I see you trying to achieve a goal so hard that you might be really frustrated by the end of it. And there's a card that just fell on the floor, which is the Two of Wands, which I literally just saw. So I'm just going to grab that card. Okay, so Two of Wands, we've got here the Eight of Cups. Magician, okay, so you've got Mercury retrograde for the first three days of November. I will say that this two of wands here shows that you have options and choices, so whatever you're running after, it's not the only thing that you can achieve. Um, but I will say with this two of wands as well, it's, it's again about balance and it's just about making sure that you do get out there, you get a bit of fresh air, you recharge, you rest, you retreat perhaps as well. It's a very important message here of balance that's coming through. You also have the magician as well. A magician again is this mercury energy. So, you know, at the beginning of the month, you may be frustrated with technology, perhaps things crashing or making you feel frustrated. Uh, your phone might not be working or glitching because that's what mercury retrograde tends to do. You may find it very, very hard to find uh, certain opportunities and what you're trying to work hard for in those first three days, but then things are lightening up. So that's a good, good energy, a good message. You've got the Ten of Pentacles here, which is about stability. Ten of Pentacles is beautiful because it shows here opportunity, it shows here progression. Ten of Pentacles is beautiful because this is the energy here of stability. So whatever you're searching for, I do feel by the end of November, you can have a much more clear answer um, as to what you're looking for, which again is great. You've got the Wheel of Fortune as well, wonderful. Okay, so this again shows here fate and it shows here that what you're looking for can be found. Um, I just want to move these down actually. I was just like, um. <laughs> so, Eight of Cups here shows that you may be walking away from something and trying to achieve something else. For some of you, you might actually be having enough of whatever this is. You might be like, I just want to set up my own business. I just want to not bother with um, a relationship. Like some of you might be at that point. So basically towards the end of November, you have much more solid answers. Because for some of you, you may even have commitment at the end of it. But for some of you, you'll be like, no, I'm just done. I, I can't be bothered. I physically have no more energy. I just cannot do it. So you've got the Seven of Swords. Okay, so Seven of Swords is like a self-sabotaging energy. Make sure you look after yourself and what it is that you want as well. Okay, sometimes, yes, um, people are not ready or the timing may not be quite right. But what's really significant and very, very important is that with this Seven of Swords, that you take care of yourself and you put yourself first and you look after yourself and what you want according to your timing because there can always be someone else out there that matches your timing but if you're constantly chasing the wrong thing or you're constantly chasing someone that isn't able to give you that you're just constantly going 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 okay and that can make you feel so much more um tired as well so that can be opportunities or people Let's see, Leo, what else I see here coming for you. I just see, actually, that you're you're feeling much more confident within yourself towards the end of the month. And you're starting to realise that, you know what, actually, this is about me. I've got a lot of cards here. <laughs> Let's take them, actually. 
okay, you're realizing, yeah, you know, I feel stressed, I feel pressured, I feel like I need to do this, 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 I'm running after this, 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 and this, and it's still not working out necessarily in my favor. So you may be walking out um, from um, a person perhaps here, and you might be thinking, you know, I'm just going to do it on my own terms. And also the devil here is about feeling like you need to have everything in order, like you need to control things. And what I would say is try and let go of this controlling energy, because that essentially can delay things, right? You want to detach and you want to do the best you can. It's that fire and water balancing energy, um, especially with the six of pentacles. Okay, this shows here success, but it also shows balance. And it also shows here this energy of like not always controlling things. In fact, just going with the flow and doing things. Three of cups, be social, you know, in, in the sense of like keep your, your friends close to you. Okay, keep those that are really, really close to you. Uh, close to you and I know that that was that phrase that also came through which is like keep your friends close but your enemies closer I don't know for some of you that might make a lot of sense here um, but I just see here with the three of cups like make sure you take time to recharge to re-energize if you don't have friends then you have spirit guides and you have the universe okay and they are always there, they're always listening. In fact, they're the ones that are listening the most because they listen to everything. Okay, remember the universe hears conversations that you don't, and spirit guides hear conversations you don't, God hears conversations that you don't, and sometimes they're protecting you from things as well. This was a very like all over the place kind of a reading, but basically I just see a lot of hard work, I see a lot of anticipation, I see you also just getting to the stage of like feeling burnt out. And at the end of the day, if you feel like that, just remember that sometimes things happen for a reason, and perhaps the universe just wants you to. To slow down. I feel like your spirit guides here are saying, like, just take time for yourself. Like, don't self sabotage your energy. You know, if, if someone is not on the same page as you, that's such a big sign as well that maybe they're just not supposed to be on the same page as you at the very point in time, at this point in time, should I say. So, this is your reading. Take care, stay safe. Hope it helps. All the information is in the description box below as well. Bye, Leo.